What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on a set of course, and we haven't looked at the doc in a minute, so we're here to take a look at some of the new stuff on the Google Doc and get my impressions on it. Just make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. So we haven't been on the Google Doc in a minute, and we do have some new things on the Doc. Two new random S14 cars, Drift Land UK 2020, and Tandems tracks. So we're going to take a look at those two tracks and the S14s. So let's get to it. So I already installed them into the game, and it looks like these are our new S14s. It's Kevin Lawrence's Injuku Racing S14, just to... Uh, for sake of that, we do have a bunch of S14s, although, or is it this one? It might be all of these, because I installed it, and I've never seen these S14s before, so these are the new S14s that I do have for today. That's a pretty interesting S14, not going to lie, it's pretty blacked out, pretty, uh, pretty matte black with almost like Supra headlights. And then, of course, we have Kevin Lawrence's S14. So we're going to go rip Kevin Lawrence's S14 here for today. So we did get two tracks. We do have the Drift UK BDC 2020, but we also have the Drift UK 2020. So we're going to hit up the Drift UK 2020 because that's the one we installed. The BDC 2020 was a different one. I think it came with it, but we're going to go with this one for sure. And we're just going to go and send the Kevin Lawrence car. So let's get the wheel cam ready to John and let's get to the track. And you got some tires poking out right there on the Kevin Lawrence car. So we're going to leave everything how it sits. We're just going to run this one and we're going to probably grab the other one. Oh my, that's loud. This car is popping off. This car is definitely very loud. A little bit of understeer through that. Definitely like how the car sounds for sure. Oh my. Driftland has definitely been a very interesting track for me. Always been a lot of tight technical stuff. But we seem to have got it going on. Oh, a little bit understeer there. This Kevin Lawrence and Juku Racing S14, though. Putting in work on the track right now for sure. Oh, I'm liking this car. The uh, Driftland track looks pretty good. I do like it, but I think I'm going to switch to that BDC one and see uh, if we can maybe get some lines on it. So we did switch to the other version of Kevin Lawrence's car. And this one, not as much tire poke going on right now. Different sets of tires, everything, different tune, I'm assuming. Same sound, though. So this is the BDC version. So I'm assuming there's actually some... Uh, Clipping points and things of that nature. Oh, yeah. I don't know which way this goes. I think I might be going the wrong way. Because we never went to that clip. Unless these are back clips. Unless we come back this way. See, not knowing the way the track goes. Ow. Oh, okay. All right. <clears throat> not knowing the way the track goes is definitely different. Unless this is the way the actual track goes. This could be it. We're going to try it this way. Fourth gear bang out. Okay, this is the actual way the track's supposed to go. Thank you. 
This car is not suited for this track at all. Car has way too much power for this track. So let's take a look at the other track. This track is definitely very fun for a lower powered car. So we're gonna have to come back and check this track out for a lower powered car. So Tandem Acres is the next track on our list of new tracks. I think I've been to a version of this track before. And Kevin Lawrence's car should do pretty good here. This gear. Yep. I've been to a version of this track before. Oh, God, we almost lost it in fifth. Wow. I kind of came off the, uh, off the power a little bit there and messed up on the handbrake. Front tire is definitely getting massive amounts of grip. So the hype of FD is real because of this weekend and all the Pro 2 events and the Pro Round 1 and 2. So let me know down in the comments who you think is going to win Pro Round 1 and 2 and who's going to win Pro 2 because there's a big, a lot of big competitors out of Pro 1 such as Peter Vincek, James Dean. It opens up the table for some great tandem action and great battles to be had. Of course, you know, Adam LZ going up into Pro Pro, and some other new names in Pro as well. It's definitely going to be a big, big competition. So let me know down in the comments your verdict of who you think is going to win. That was a big three wheel, wasn't it? Just a popping red line on this car. Get a little more comfortable in it. Car is definitely fun and it's suitable for FD weekend coming this weekend as well. We're not gonna make that. Oh, somehow we even managed to come out of that in fifth. Just a banging red line. Not a fan of the tires coming to the fender, but you know, it's all good. We're almost out of gas too. So I think we should take this car to an FD track, given that it is an FD car. So before we lift it off, we're gonna do that as I probably just blow this motor. So we'll switch up track for one final time for today. So for traditions of Formula Drift, super sad that FD is not going to Long Beach this year. Long Beach is definitely one of my favorite tracks and would have been the home opener for the season. So we're going to take Kevin Lawrence's S14 onto Long Beach and see if we can't get a run or two in the car. And uh, for season opener sake of FD starting tomorrow, get them tires heated up. See what we can do. Okay, let me need to be in fifth gear. That could have been a whole heck of a lot worse. For sure, but let's just flip around and give it one more try. And we'll take a look at the replays and see if we can get some good replay angles here on Long Beach. So if you guys like what you see and want to keep seeing more, let me know down in the comment section down below. And as always, also let me know down in the comments who you think is going to win Pro 2, Pro Round 1 and 2. Is it going to be Frederick Osbo in the new A90 Supra, Ryan Turk in the Corolla Hatchback, some of the other competitors that we all know, Chris Forsberg, Justin Pollock, you know, Chelsea Denofa Von Ginn, or is it going to be, you know, Adam LZ and some of the newcomers that are coming in, Brandon Sorensen and all of them coming into pro from Pro 2. Click the heart in fifth. 
That was a little bit better, a little bit way off that wall. Close to the wall in that power alley. Nowhere near where I need to be. This car definitely needs some gear changing. So let's see if we have a little bit of a replay angle on this. Runs. Yeah, we do. So we'll end this episode off on a few replay angles. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And I think, always thank you for coming back. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll watch you in the description box below. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Eva Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.